All right, guys, here we go with today's multiplayer round. We're going to try to get a few others on the same card. We'll see if it works, but we might have some dual commentary. We might just have some other shots. We'll see who we're able to get on and go from there, but we're going to all match at the same time and just see what happens. So here we go. All right, we are searching. We'll see if we get Stever, see if we get Smooth, see if we get No Bueno. It's going to be really challenging for all of us to get on the same card. So I doubt it's going to happen, but we're trying to get Stever and I. And then if we're able to match, then he's going to let the other two know. And then they should be able to join us. But it's kind of a long shot because it could just any second join with any other players closer in ELO. Obviously, Stever's way up there. I'm right around 900 and he's above 1,000. Oh, nice. There's Stever. So let's see if the others get in there as well. We could guy Springs, Frozen Valley, Grizzly Gulch. Don't see any water skip holes there. We got Smooth. Come on, Ray. This might work. Come on. Two seconds. One. Ray's going to get left out. Oh, bummer. Dang, I was hoping to throw water skip here, but not in this wind. This is tough. I'm going to go with the PD. Slide left. Top chevron right on the basket there, and put some hyzer on it. Hopefully it's just a safe throw. This is not looking safe though. Made it left of the trees. All right, into Smooth's bag, let's see what he does. He takes his roll sapphire, slides to the right, puts a little anhyzer against that wind. Let's see if he can stay right of the trees, unlike me, he does. Nice little shot there from Smooth. Let's try to get Ray to you. Maybe Ray will be a late join. Come on, Ray. Um, kind of a toughish wind. I don't think that's the right disc. Put a little bit of... Oh, that's way too much turn. Get left. Get lucky. That is not lucky. I thought that was more of a headwind than it was. It was more of a, much more of a sidewind than a headwind. But it worked out, fortunately, from... Oh, my gosh. And then I missed from 56 feet. Looks like Aaron made a mistake, too. Yeah, this isn't even an easy make here. All right, great start. So Stever and I with the pars, and Smoo with the birdie. I can't make it from 50 feet. All right, here goes Smoo. He throws the same disc as me, the Explorer. You notice he does not have the putter pouch. He doesn't throw a putter. But he takes a lower aim here than I do, more of a hyzer. He clips that tree there, but right at the basket for an easy birdie. All right, you can try to make up here. This is not the easiest ace for me. Just gotta kind of wing it up there and hope it gets there. Mm. Had a good kick there. All right, there goes Smooth. We're gonna see if we can make this one. Put some extra turn on that. I should have adjusted my aim point more. Dang it! Nobody gets the ace there. See if I can not miss this time from 59 feet. All right, everybody gets that birdie, and we're still down by one to Smoo. Smoo here takes out his glide sapphire on a forehand, very similar aim point that I use. Just uses the glide, which is interesting because it can get way up there. He shoots it long a little bit, but definitely can has a distance for the ace. Try to ace this one to you. I don't have a great disc for this, so I kind of have to put a little turn on it, take a little bit off of it, try to release it right about there. Nope. That's a tough ace. There he goes. Let's see if I can get it to go. We're going to go middle chevron up there. 
and a straight pull. Oh, I should have put some hyzer on it. Dang it. Way off. Stever just to the right. All right, everybody gets birdie there. Hole three, still down by one. All right, into Smooth Bag. I think we're all thinking the same thing when we see this wind. He pulls out his Glide Skip Rive. I'm sure we all have very similar aim points on this one. Puts a little Anheuser on it. Catches it a bit wide. Luckily doesn't hit that rock. And he gets really fortunate here and does not go out of bounds. Lucky Smooth. Here's, here's one we can play catch up on. Alright, so wind's pushing it a little left, but it's going to stable it up quicker. Still going to need to put a little bit of ante on this one. Keep it out away from that rock and tree. That might go down the hill. Sit. All right, you know I'm going for this. Smooth's going for it. I'm not sure if Stever will. I don't know if he does it on this shot or not. I'm definitely going to go for it. Oh, no. Get Okay, we just carried the rock. It's going to get to the bottom. Stop. Oh, nice. We got a good shot here. I'm going to go forehand with the pure. About right there. 143. Go, 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 go. No, Aaron. Alright, you only live once. I gotta go for this one. I think right about there looks good. Come on. Oh, a little high left. Let's see if Smoo can knock it in with his windbreak fuse on a backhand. Oh, and he too leaves it just short. Man, we all blow it. Did Smoo go out of bounds? We might be tied. Nope. He stayed in bounds, missed his eagle. Uh, we both, we all missed opportunities there. All right, here goes Smoo off the tee for this hole. He takes his water skip distance driver, puts some hyzer on it from default aim. Even if he doesn't carry it, it usually skips out of this water like so, and that ends up being an excellent drive in that wind. Is he going for it? He's probably going water skip. I'm going to go with the, the bank shot here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Carry. Ooh, just barely. Thought I hit the bank too early. Smooth with the nice shot. My commentary, not strongest one here. Ooh. This is a hole where I love throwing this defender, but I don't have the right wind for that. Looks like Smoo got one around the corner. I'm gonna try to play uh try to play the carom off the hill here. Looks like Aaron's doing the same. He got right quick. Looks like he got away with it. I'm gonna try to get mine to hit a little later down there. Uh, of course, I get a really funky kick. Stay safe. Uh, we're very fortunate bounce. I think my best best chance here is just going to be to try to skip one up there and get a longer look at it. See if I can get it to skip through these trees. Nope. All right, I'm going to go. Stever looks like he's in the water. This is still a long way, so I'm going to try to flex it up there and get some sort of a look for Eagle. This would be an awesome. Don't hit the tree. Oh, no. Gosh, man. I thought that was going to be so perfect, and then it just clipped that tree. 101. Smooth trying to get up there. Looks like it takes a higher route. Trying to do kind of a backhand flex shot. Try to skip it up there to give himself a look at Eagle. See if it can get away from that log. Oh, he hops right over it. That should be okay. Hmm. That was a good try. See if we can make this. Really need this one. Try 
Drop, drop. Why did you throw it so hard, Aaron? All right, we're gonna see how deadly Smoo is with his windbreak fuse. Up the hill with a big left to right wind. And he gets the eagle to go. Nice shot, Smoo. Likely going down another stroke here. Saw these guys got over. Oh, they got some tough putts. Smoo might be running away with this one. Where is my freaking mouse? I thought that looked weird. Come on, get it back up there. Good night. So Stever does get the birdie. I thought he was in the water, but he must have ended in that ravine. So now we're two shots down to Smoo. It's not looking good for Stever and I. All right, Smoo knows just what to do here. Pulls out his roll sapphire, slides to the left. Not quite as a wide aim point that I use, but just tries to go right through this pink tree. Oh, a little, little luck rolling down the hill there, but that ends up very nice for Mr. Smoo. Through the trees here, no biggie. This one's been a pretty easy birdie. Just going to roll sapphire. It's probably what these guys, or maybe a sampo. I'm not sure what they. They probably have a sampo on this shot. There's my birdie and smooth. It would be nice if he just somehow rolled out of bounds there, but I don't think we're going to get so lucky. I don't know why it's taking him so long to finish. Well, there he is. You taking so long there, Smoo. All right, we're still down by two to Smoo. All right, so I think Smoo and I use very similar lines here to run it in these one wins. This is the glide skip rive. Bottom chevron somewhere towards the bottom of that group of trees over there. I kind of adjust my aim. I'm not sure if he keeps the same one or not, but this is landing a little too far left, but it usually stays safe just like that. There he goes. I'm going to try to throw a partial ride. These guys play these big sweepers. I don't really have that line, so I'm just going to try to throw a partial partial rive get it to skip short a little offline Ooh, friendly roll back around a little bit frozen valley to finish I'm going for it there goes smooth he's running it too it'd be a nice time to drop this one in needs to hit just left of the basket it's gonna be too far left man stop Jeez, Aaron, that was awful. I'm going to have to save this for birdie. 89 feet. Oh my gosh. I hate this game. How did that not fade more? So I lose a stroke to Stever somehow. Thought I threw that just fine. I need to just... All right, let's see what Smoo does on Frozen Valley 9. Slides to the right, bottom chevron pretty high up there in this wind. Let the wind just kind of take it down. As we all are at this point, he's hoping for a good skip. He gets it. Oh, it just clips that tree, but still makes it down the hill a little bit. eagle right now I normally play it here I'm thinking I'm gonna want to play it a little wider get a little bit of hyzer on there try to get it to take that corner a little sharper a little wide just sneak through don't hit that tree there we go got lucky it's gonna turn out very nice All right, still got hope. Maybe something happens this hole. This should be a pretty good chance at Eagle. It's 
smooth. Looks like he hit his perfect. We'll see. Oh my gosh. And then I get a no skip. Not even a dead skip, just a no skip. This hole, man. Of course, Stever gets the skip all the way down. That's so frustrating. I feel like that's one part of the game that just is just too random. Like, like a hole like this, like we, we both throw a good shot, but he gets down there and is next to the basket, and I am stuck way up there, all because of a random feature of the game. So I'm taking a loss on this one. I'm down by two to Stever and three to Smoo. Definitely running this one. Oh, it's a par three, so it's going to be something that I am not going to be able to ace easily. Defender would be too long. I'm going to, have to play the skip drive and just hope that I get it. Get it to fly then into the chains. It's not on the best line. Fortunate tree kick. Looking for an easy birdie, but going to be uh, losing this one by one. I'm just going to throw because these guys, I'm not sure what they're doing. Right into the tree. Nope. That tree. All right, more than likely all Smoo needs is a birdie here. So he just throws the safe sapphire, glide sapphire shot right next to the basket for an easy birdie. Well, that was supposed to be fun. I'm not sure how much fun I had. Lose by a lot. And that's why these guys are so much better than me, obviously. But hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let's take a look real quick at their bags. Well, you just saw their bags. You don't need to look at their bags. Um, take a look at the leaderboard. Steve might be the only one. Smoo was above a thousand, but, um, minus three for that. I, I don't think anyone other than Steve is over a thousand now. Yep. Smoo had a rough night, but there you go, guys. There's today's multiplayer round of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the multi-commentary, multi-shot view from Stever, myself, and Mr. Smoo. As always, thanks for watching me play some DGV.